Hello friends, this video on algebraic expressions part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us look at some examples and let us try to add them. So the first example is t minus 8z, 8tz, 3tz minus z and z minus t. So you are given three different algebraic expressions and you need to add them. Now here let us look at another method of addition. So this is our first algebraic expression t minus 8tz. The second expression is 3tz. Now what we do, we write one expression below the other expression in such a way that the like terms are in one particular column. So see 8tz is here. So 3tz is like term with 8tz. So we will write 3tz just below 8tz. Next is minus z. Now minus z is not like with t, right? Therefore we will write minus z separately. The third expression is z minus t. So z will lie, will be placed below z. So here you will have plus z minus t. Minus t should be placed before, below t. So this would be minus t. So what we have done now, we have to add all of these. So what we have done is, all, see all the terms with t are in the first column. All the terms with tz are in the second column and all the terms with z are in the third column. So now what we do t plus minus t. What would it give? It would be 0. Minus 8 plus 3 tz. So minus 8 plus 3 would be minus 5 tz. Minus z plus z will again be 0. So therefore the sum of these three expressions would be minus 5 tz tz. So let us look at the second example. So let's say you have three expressions a plus b minus 3, b minus a plus 3 and a minus b plus 3. So when you look at these three expressions you feel that they are so confusing. All of them have the same three terms a, b and 3 but there is a change in sign. So in the first expression you have a, b and minus 3 as the three terms. In the second expression you have b minus a and 3 as the three terms and in the third one you have a minus b and 3. So let us try to add them. So in a similar way we will try to do this as well a plus b minus 3. Now let us write the second expression just below this provided we write all the a's together, all the b's together and all the 3's together. So in this case you have plus b minus a and plus 3. Perfect. Now let us write the third term, third expression even below this. So there we have plus a minus b plus 3. Now let us try to add all of them. So what happens? When you add all of these, what happens is a plus, you have plus a plus a which makes it 2a minus a. That means it becomes a. So basically 1 plus a and 1 minus a gets cancelled out. So you are left with a. Similarly here b plus b gives 2b. Again you subtract 1b from there. So you are left with b. In this case 3 plus 3 gives you 6. But you again subtract 3 from there. So you are left with 3. So this would be the sum of the three expressions. So if you want you can do it in a little different way also. Let's say this is the first expression plus the second expression plus the third expression. So first of all you rearrange the terms such that all the a's are together. So a minus a. So let, let us first open the brackets a plus b minus 3 plus b minus a plus 3 plus a minus b plus 3. Now let us put all the a's together. So a plus a minus a this would be together plus b plus b minus b all the b's together and then minus 3 plus 3 plus 3 so 3 is together so a plus a minus a gets cancelled so you are left with a again plus b minus b gets cancelled so you are left with b again minus 3 plus 3 gets cancelled so you are left with 3 so in this case also you get the same answer 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.